because the Earth is tilted closer to the Sun. It's because we're farther away from the Sun. Actually, we're closer to the Sun, but we're tilted away from the Sun. The Earth is at a closer part of its orbit to the Sun. Because in the winter, we're further away from the Sun. Tilt of the, the axis, axis uh, sort of thing. relation to the Sun. Well, that is because when the Earth rotates, the Sun is further away from the Earth in the cooler months. We're actually closer to the Sun in the winter, but um, we're, although we're farther in the summer, we're, because of the tilt, we're more exposed to uh, more sunlight. Which we're stretching sunlight. the limits of my knowledge on this subject. <laughs> I learned about nails. That was very about how to, if there are enough nails, on a bed, it won't hurt you. But if there's only one, it will hurt you. I learned that how popcorn is popped. Do you like some popcorn, sir? Why does popcorn pop? And it's just a simple uh, little trivia, you know. There's some the popcorn kernel that allows it, when you heat it up, to expand and crack that e hard exterior. And it makes it pop, right? Well, we just learned about something called muons. I learned about popcorn, that it has water in it, so when it boils, it pops. Uh, liquid nitrogen freezes things, and it makes it so that they don't stretch when you step on it, like over there, and it hardened, and when you stepped on it, it just popped and cracked. And I learned how popcorn was made, and yeah. I also learned how to flip a guy twice my size. We learned how smoke rings get <laughs> shot out of a garbage can. <laughs> um, we learned a few things. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen, sure. I've learned that robotic dinosaurs make good impressions on kids. You know about center of mass. When you're like this, when your center of mass is directly over, your weight's evenly balanced on your hips, it's actually very hard to move him. You know, he's very well balanced. If I break his balance, oh. he falls forward. He pulls on his hand and creates this kind of torque where he starts to do this. Jab cross and um, front kick. Okay, no big deal. Nice. Side. Okay, um, okay, um, and hook. Oh, a knee. Every place we go to, she spends, we spend all day in the science centers. And she really doesn't have a concept of what science is, but she loves it. So. What's your favorite exhibit, Taylor? Because it's the basis of everything. It's, I mean, they, they have functional use of science in everything that they do. They just have no concept of what's behind it. So they don't know how cool it is. A lot of kids are turned off because they get boring science through a textbook. And then when you actually touch it and interact with it, kind of like go backwards, and you go back to the, oh, that's how and this is the mechanics of that. Did you guys expect to see a science fair today? We did. We saw it in the New York Times. A listing for it. Yes. So is that what brought you to the fair? Yes. Well, that and also the fact that our kids love science. They love science. Why do they love science? Well, I think it's because it's sort of the curiosity of science. The fact that you can just play and manipulate and kind of do things. They like experiments. Our older son, who's five, loves to create potions and that kind of stuff. I've never seen children with such a rapt expression on their faces. <laughs> I wish you did this more often. Science in, in everyday life? Um, or cooking. Okay. Or <laughs> making things. What kind of things can you make with science? You can make, like, you can make chemistry. You can do the chemistry. You can make invent robotic inventions. You can make plain old inventions. You can really do a lot. Science when I was in kindergarten till um, second grade because you really learn about nature and the whole world. So I think science is actually fun and um, interesting. A favorite scientist, Imhotep. Imhotep. Imhotep.
Yes, he's an architect. He was a, 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 a scientist. Uh, Helped to create the, uh, the the great pyramids, things of that nature. So most definitely, he was a great scientist. Richard Feynman. Yeah, I always liked um, Feynman, Richard Feynman, and uh, Maxwell. Albert Einstein. Okay. Um, Feynman. Jonas Salk. Yeah. Invented the polio vaccine. Think about that. <laughs>